Okay, guys, the 320 Gladiator is going to be a play today, so you guys get to enjoy some high stakes gameplay. Do, 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 do. Queen A5. Do we like a bet here or not? I think so. I think we do. See, so call seven on the turn is not very nice. Much better for him. We don't pick up any equity. We still do beat uh, Jack 10, Jack 9, some spade draws. Like, we're not dead here. But I don't think we want to put in another bet, and it's going to be very tough to call. And it also doesn't make a great bluff catcher blocking some of those. We now river at Jack. So we beat his 8x, 5x. But we lose to a lot of straights and flushes now and two pairs. And his bluffs have to come from pairs, generally, here. Wow, this is wild. This is pretty wild. Because um, it seems like a spot where he's just never getting called, man. So why would he go for value at this size? Like, nobody's calling this shit. Makes me want to call. <laughs> nobody's calling this shit, man. Does seem like an unnecessary bluff sizing though. This is this is weird. What would you guys do here with the ace jack? I mean, I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna fold. There's just too many, too many value combos. Maybe it's just not value though. Like, is he really expecting to get called going two x over bet like that? And gonna bet the turn on river here. I can't call this hand. I have all my... I don't know. Like, I I have trips and boats and some stuff like that going on. This fucking sucks, man. Just a miracle worker, this guy. It's a fucking miracle worker. Finds a shove here. Never easy. Nice hand. Please hold. Nice. Okay, guys. We're still alive in the 320. We had to hold against the flush draw on the king. Which happens sometimes. All right, two pair in the 320, that's big. Interesting. He actually went for more than min bet right away, which means I think he's gonna fire some big bets. Nice. Looks like Christian wants to pile in the money. I keep calling. Still gonna be calling here. Two pair just a bit too strong, blind to blind, I think. We know this guy likes over bets. Once again, he's put us at a six spot, but I think stick to the plan here. Jack four is no good. <gasps> Yo, so he's down a 0.5 of a big line. We pick up aces. This is elite, chat. This is elite. Wait, this guy covers everyone? I think if I call, he might literally pile it in, like, super wide. <gasps> oh my god, he's done it. He's actually gone and done it, mate. <gasps> Please. Oh my god, he's gone and done it. Wait, Jack 7-1? Who cares? We have 200 big blinds. Oh my god, he actually went and did it. He went and did it. He went for the jam. I actually did not get this bounty somehow, which is too bad. But now I'm in second place in the 320. Okay, shoving here because the big blind's all in. Get a chance for another two bounties, guys. Sevens and queen nine. King in the river. We do pick up this bounty. We do not pick up this bounty again. That's okay. Still on the short stack. We have 196 locked up. Chips are still there. King Jack, Ace Jack. All right, we got full revenge on Adam. Ran very well against him in this this tourney today. GG, man. GG, we ran very well. We have 276 in bounties. And we're going to go for more. Expect to get called sometimes by these guys. Luckily, this hand does well in multiple all-in situations. Oh! 
yes, dude. Guys, welcome to the absolute sun run of the 320 Gladiator. We have already free rolled the tournament. $354 in bounties locked up. We have a chip lead, 194 big blinds. This is sick, dude. This is sick. I can count on two hands how many times I've been called by King High or Jack High and spots like that. Okay, pretty standard peel here. I don't think it's going to be that light of a range, but it's a good price. He's giving us in position and pretty nice bounty too, so we should we should call. And I'm going to I think check it back. Just thinking like would it actually be bad to bet fold that that this hand like how much equity are we really bet folding? Okay, going to call a shove, I guess, and if he bets small, I will go for the raise. You can see some thin value with some sets and stuff here. Peck pocket aces. Definitely should be going for the raise. I think there is some frequency in which we lose the king-queen, but I also think there's enough thin value out there that there could be a leveling more happening since he's going so small. Just got to raise and hope to win the pot. <laughs> All right, we win it outright. Nice. Take that all day. Pocket eights. Uh, three bet call is also an option here. I like that there's two short stacks to my left, though, that we can get it in against with a flat. And also, we're like, we can get it in for close to 40 here, but. Like, once I get down to around 30, I think it becomes a lot more awesome. But yeah, both both would definitely be acceptable. Two checks, gonna go for a big bet on the turn. I won the hand, but... Okay, big bet turn, check river. King deuce. Feel kind of lucky I didn't get check raised. Whatever, we lost one street of value. And there's definitely worse pairs that check call. There's ace highs that check call there. It's it's not a mistake by any means. Here we get to go for the bounty. $118. Come on, baby. Come on. Spades. One more. Our luck is dying. I've set. I have trips. Oh, set and trips. Let's fucking go. Nice. Operation get a lot of chips in the middle with the set. I'm just going to raise here. This guy raises. I'm all in with the sixes. Call my king jack. Vamos. 109 gladiator. We got 80k. So, yeah, this guy plays as wide as King Deuce suited from the cutoff, so we want to be raising this, uh, this King here. Sizing's, <sighs> sizing's too big. It's too big. It's bad. So greedy. I mean, I think it's good that we're raising, but I think it's too big. I got lost in the sauce. We got value, though. I'm assuming it's value. I got a little lost in the sauce. Oh, we did get the flop value. Barreled the turn. He was out. No deal, Howie, is what he said. Lamal? It's in your house, dude. Jack 10, ace, queen. Fuck, man. Keep losing these bounty spots. I mean, we had our fair share earlier, no doubt. Okay, guys, we just got to keep taking these spots and hope it works out. 118 on the line, pocket nines. Easy spot. Let's go. Even if this guy's in, we have to call. Have to call. Jesus Christ, good luck. Against ace, queen, and ace, 10. Let's go! Boom! 
Game changer. It's a game changer. It's the TSN turning point. It's an absolute game changer pot right there. We have $690 in bounties. Late reg is done. Damn, I wanted a blue card so bad. We're deep against Liam, and he has a big bounty, so, I mean, not flush draw is a big player. I'm gonna use his hand as a bluff. A lot of my other floats just got there in some sort of fashion, so. I'm gonna rip the nuts at some frequency, which is always nice. Bluffing with a draw to the nuts. Oh my god, I can barely see outside. It's an apocalypse, bro. This guy has more chips than me, eh? We're in that part of the tournament now. Checking a lot on the deuce deuce board. Take it down, baby. Check call, check call is the line here. Yeah, nice hand. Nice hand. Wish I lived somewhere that snowed. Well, it makes, it makes playing poker pretty fun inside, but if you're commuting to work every day, you gotta go in that. It's minus 15 outside. Who is the most difficult streamer to play against? I think Pav. Uh, Pav and Jamie, because Jamie trolls me. Jamie will just... Here's the thing about Jamie, will just run some bullshit lines on me because he's my brother. He'll troll me. He'll just like mix in random overbets and shit. And Pav is a little DTO bot. So, I'd say those two. Could have a lot of hands that connect with that turn already for value. Oh my god. Good luck, guys. Jack's against Ace-9. Yes! And we got the bluff through. Boom! Mmm! Let's go. Guys, $848 in bounties, 75 big blinds still, 36 get paid, 47 left. Let's stay focused. What's up, Jaboti? Good luck. Two out of five at the 22 deep stack. That's nice. Check, check on the flop. Turn is elite. Wow, nice turn, nice turn. See two checks. Okay, bet the turn, take it down. Okay, guys, gotta call this for the bounty. Here we go. Boom! Oh! Today's the day. Today's the day, chat. Let's fucking go. So sick. Wow. We have 1,086 in bounties. We just scooped another 237. 93 big blinds in the 320 big boy. Oh my god, look at it, guys. This is playing out like a satellite, guys. Okay, we're in the money at the 320, the main event. $342 min cash on top of the 1,000 bounties we have picked up. All right, let's go, baby. Come on. Three, that's a huge bounty. Come on, Gaze Queen. That's a huge bounty. Don't play with my heart right now. Chat wants this. Chat wants this bounty more than I do, I promise. Chat wants this bounty more than I do. Can say six. No. No. It's an unfortunate beat, of course. Okay, gonna defend the ace four. We do have kings in the 22, so we'll have to sweat that. We do flop top pair here, ace six six. Let's go to the multi view here. Gonna be shipping it in with the kings, 28-5 big blinds. Pretty standard squeeze spot, call with the ace four. See a small bet here on the turn. I'm actually gonna raise and then, ah. No, 
actually don't think we like to do a lot of raising here. Kind of sucks. We don't win much against Jack X, but whatever. Kings against sixes. Oh my god. Like, I know we've been running good today or whatever, but like this, like getting close in twenty-two dollar tournaments and stuff. At the end of the day, we're just still having losing sessions. Like this is fucking brutal, man. Okay, king queen is gonna be a limp and then a stab now with top pair. Eight hearts. I mean, eight x is their pretty high frequency. You can still have jack nine, jack ten, some. I'm just trying to think about double floats. I mean, we can't bet this river for value. We have to check and just hope it goes check, check, and we win. So there's definitely some natural bluffs. He's going to have the flush sometimes. He's going so polarized now. Fuck. Such a tough spot. I think it's all these straight jaws kind of half the bluff too. They're just too weak to check back. Ah, oh, this spot sucks. I think this is a check call. Yes, dude. Let's go, man. Boom, huge call, 623,000, nine out of 18. That's the thing, like it's already taking a random approach, so. That's a big three bet. I'm actually folding here. Bigger than three and a half X. We're out of position. Weak part of my range. Okay, King Queen is a flat. Play some post flop. Six ten deuce. Could float against like quarter pot here. Could be okay. It's too big to float half pot. Pocket tens, twenty bigs. This is going in very high frequency. I mean, there's some some action could get me to fold, but take a lot. All right, here we go. Hopefully, not another close call. All in with the tens. Taking it down. Okay, get a limp call of three x, three point five x. Fold everything else. Check, check, start betting on the turn. Get owned immediately. It's good enough to risk it all. <clears throat> gonna be all in. We have a pretty large bounty, so 20 big blind calling range is gonna be decently wide, like 662, so. Here we go. Just a fold. I gotta hype up all the ends, they're, they're so, they're so important, man. <gasps> An improvement. 25. Man, this guy just covers us. I think 25 blinds. I mean, it's it's okay to have a 3-bidding range here, I guess, as well. Actually, it's probably better to have a 3-bidding range. But in a bounty, uh, maybe with the size of my bounty, shoving's good. Alright, let's go. Back to back. Two queens. God, Queens is such a good hand, actually. I think I'm gonna check it back and turn the or uh, flop the nuts though instead. If you guys are cool with that, I think I'm just gonna flop the nuts and just go for the bet. Well, he hasn't left yet, so something's going on with Drino. He's got something. Check raise. Oh my god. I mean, I'm a, kind of a fan of fast playing. Just cause we don't block any of the pairs, like we don't we don't block two pairs, we don't block sets, we don't block over pairs. Like, well, we I guess we technically block six sevens, but fast playing seems kind of appealing with the straight specifically. I don't know. We can't screw this up. Whatever we do is profitable. I'm gonna take this line.
Unfortunately, it's a check raise fold from the Drino. And now we get to sit here and think about slow playing for 20 minutes. I'll take it though. Seen this guy 3x actually multiple times, so I guess this isn't too out of character. Anyway, we still defend this hand. Flops very nicely. See, but a four in the seven. Ugh, spot sucks. Spot sucks because all the turns suck. Could jam right away. Turn is nice. We still beat Queen Jack, Jack 10, every spade draw, random overcard bluffs, 6 7. I mean, we're beating so many hands here. Definitely too many bluffs to fold at the moment. I think we just have to go with it here, chat, at this stage. Here's the way I look at it there's a ton of bluffs, and there's a ton of bluffs. We don't need to read into the preflop sizing because he's been doing that consistently. And uh, he's going to want to play his draws more aggressively given the size of my bounty, in my opinion. I don't think he's going to shut down with a lot of them. So I'm just going to go with it. Top pair here. Call it a day. Good luck. And he gets there. Okay, guys, GG. We lost top pair against the draw in the 320 Gladiator in 13th. Oh, man. It sucks, dude. It's just another close call. We got 10th in the 22 cooler. I'm not, like, too sick about this beat, obviously. It's, it, he has a monster draw. It's a ton of outs. Anyway, I think we played well. Um, deep run and high stakes. It was a fun stream. Almost 2k viewers at the end. And uh, we're running deep a lot. At least. Okay, anyway. Thanks, guys. Hope you had a good time watching. Catch you tomorrow. Much love. Good night.